So I just happened to have some problems um, getting uh, TPU to go through it, even though I've changed the um, uh, this block here, and I'll show that to you here in just a second. Uh, so I want to show you what I did. Uh, the secondary mod I ended up having to do to get this particular uh, issue resolved uh, with the TPU. Um, it was actually not um, jamming up at the gear anymore. It was jamming up below uh, the gear. So I'm fixing to show you where um, it's jamming up and hopefully you'll be able to see it on video. I'll try to get the camera in here. Now um, this is not easy to get in and out so this is took me a little bit of uh, convincing to do it but um, here is the gear box that I printed out um, but if you'll notice um, I had right here is I had to um, cut out drill out the hole I didn't drill it all the way through I drilled it down just enough to where it didn't go all the way through so that way the tube that I put in there doesn't actually pull back out our retraction movements and stuff so uh, let me show you what I did what I uh, um, I also like I said I um, drilled that out a little bit and then I had to put this little tube in there um, just so you know exactly how long it uh, will need to be I'm gonna measure it here we're looking at 5.3 millimeters um, is how long it is um, and to show you exactly why and I don't know why they built it like this but let me get a little bit closer uh, to the, um, the printer here Hopefully it will show up on camera. There we go. If you'll notice, let's move the printer around a little bit. This right here, this, uh, see where my little pliers here? This little indention right here, I was having the filament gather up in there. So I had to create a tube that went from here to the drive block. Um, uh, I'll put a link in the description down to what tube that I used. Um, so basically this block right here is actually i guess you could redesign it um to make that hole go down into that other hole um i don't know uh, but i just put that tube in there and i haven't had an issue since i put that tube in there uh, it was no longer jamming up between the gear um it was jamming up after the plastic piece Right after this right here, it was jamming up in this little area right here. There's a little bit of space there. So, um, if even after you print out this uh, drive block and replace this, and if you're still having a problem with TPU or flexible filament, try adding this um, Teflon tube below it. And like I said, I didn't modify the 3D print. I just had to drill this out a little bit. Um, like I said, I didn't drill it all the way through. I just drilled it in a little bit, just enough to hold the tube in there. Um, so I'm going to try to put this back together. It's not too easy to put in there, but I'm going to show you how I do it. Sure I can see. So basically, um, what I've done to get that in there is, um, I'll take my needle nose, the I mean the ones that come, the little pliers that come with with the printer, and I'll hold it like that. And there's just enough space to get these little bitty pliers down in there. So you'll you'll just hold it right there just like this, try to make it as straight as possible. Like I said, it's not easy, but once you get it in there, um, it's not been an issue. So just hold that inside there if I don't drop it and have to make another one just hold that teflon tube in there very carefully should straighten itself up there so basically what I do is so I don't have to take the whole thing back apart is I will throw a bolt in there screw it down just one for now. Uh, you will have to unhook this motor to make it easier um, 
to get this in here which is basically um, just that one plug and then I'll take me another piece of filament just to make sure I can get it all the way through it probably will not end up being able to get it all the way through all right so it automatically lined up for me and that's why I gave you the measurements that went all the way down there just to make sure that P, uh, that uh, Teflon tube lines up. I uh, hope we got that on camera. Uh, but I stress enough, check it to make sure that you can get through that and through the tube before you put everything back together. Um, if you don't know exactly how to get all this apart, I do go into detail in an earlier video and about the drive block and the different, uh, how much that, that drive block actually does help. I think you actually need to do both of these mods, um, which I guess they're calling them the same thing, but uh, you need to do both of these mods uh, by using that te Teflon tube, and uh, I guess that's the name of it, and then print out the gearbox. Obviously, you need to print out the um, the drive block before uh, you take it all apart. Um, like I said, if you need a little bit more guidance on how to take it apart, if you'll go back to my other video linked in the description down below, uh, you'll be able to see how to get it all apart. So. Alright, thank you for watching.